Nostalgia. Pretty much everyone's experienced it, and it's one of the most powerful emotions one can feel. But why is that? Why can something so seemingly menial like a song from a video game soundtrack or just the sound of a console turning on unlock such deep and heavy memories for us? My name is Heiko, and today I want to take a look at why nostalgia is so powerful, especially in the world of video games. I've noticed that a lot of topics in my videos actually come from my own personal nostalgia. For example, my first ever video essay was about Fuel, a game I had played a lot as a kid and I was very nostalgic for. A tribute to Unturned was built off the backs of pure nostalgia, and hell, my most recent video as of making this, What Happened to Dirt, is about a franchise I'd played a ton of as a kid and was, well, nostalgic for. This is because nostalgia is powerful, and it's something a lot of people can relate to. Maybe not everyone can relate to your specific nostalgia, I mean, I don't think a lot of people can relate to my personal nostalgia of that feeling of a cool, dewy spring Chicago morning, but I think a lot of people can relate to the smell of gasoline early in the morning, as it probably brings back memories of road trips as a kid. Like I said, nostalgia is powerful. It's the reason all those early 2000s nostalgia compilations have millions of views. And when it comes to video games and nostalgia, there's no game that has more widespread nostalgia nostalgia than Minecraft is a game that pretty much everyone has played, but for the most part, a majority of people played it in the early days during their childhood. For me, I started playing during the beta before jumping over to predominantly playing on the Xbox 360. So take a guess at where my nostalgia comes from. YouTube, actually. It's crazy to think that you can get nostalgia for watching old videos of people playing a video game, but you'd be crazy to think it doesn't happen. Nostalgia can come from any place. A sight, sound, smell, feeling, literally anything. And for a lot of people, Minecraft and Minecraft YouTubers are a large source of nostalgia. I mean, just take a look at how popular the Minecraft soundtrack is, especially the alpha and beta soundtracks. Composed by C418, the soothing melodies of these soundtracks can feel incredibly nostalgic for a lot of people. I mean, I've heard stories from friends who have been genuinely moved to tears just by listening to the soundtrack. For a lot of people, the Minecraft soundtrack and the game as a whole can remind them of who they used to be, a window into their past and a medium for incredibly powerful feelings of nostalgia, longing for that past. Nostalgia is interesting. Its symptoms and effects are almost universal, but its causes are specific to you. Not everyone is going to feel nostalgic over the same thing, but we all feel nostalgic about something, whether it be something that happened two years ago or 20 years ago. And it's interesting because nostalgia's effects can vary in strength depending on how, well, nostalgic you are. A while ago, I was talking to a friend of mine about how I missed the days of raiding with the boys in Destiny 2, running the raid Scourge of the Past over and over and over again. And while I stopped raiding with that group only about a year ago, I could easily reconnect with them and start raiding again. Except Scourge of the Past is no longer in Destiny 2. All those fond memories I created I can no longer relive exactly like it happened back then, so those memories turn into nostalgia. Now take a game like Dirt 2 that I used to be super nostalgic for, but after playing that game for a video and having the option of playing it at an instant, I don't feel that nostalgic for it anymore. Nostalgia is weird. Like, really weird. It's crazy how something we know so little about can be so integral to us as people. Without nostalgia, we'd lose track of identity. The reason the symptoms of nostalgia are so strong is to give weight to our memories, because without it, we'd lose track of our personal past. To quote Dr. Christine Bacho, Nostalgia, by motivating us to remember the past in our own life, helps to unite us to that authentic self and remind us of who we have been and then compare that to who we feel we are today. Video games are a plentiful source of nostalgia for a lot of people. They may just be a cleverly constructed sequence of ones and zeros, but these games we feel nostalgic for are a part of us. We hold these games and memories dear to our hearts. They're windows into the past and a reflection of the people we were, a reflection of our yesteryears when life was more simple and easy. And that's why nostalgia is so powerful. <laughs> 